Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be playing Disney Dreamland Valley. I've done some videos in the past about the outfits and I feel that with that time, I start decorating my house because I never go inside. And today we're going to be decorating the whole bottom floor. So it's going to be four rooms. I'm very excited to do this together. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with the ground floor, I'm first taking out everything that I have. I had a very Rapunzel themed colorful base, but I'm gonna scratch that now and try something different. I've got a lot of new wallpapers I wanted to use. So since there are a lot of doors, I wanted to make it accessible. So I was going for like a kitchen, living room kind of vibe. Also, I wanted to be like a little bit more mature looking than it was before. I also really like how we can use dual colors. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing where you can also do this on the wall and I've just been very excited. This will also include me running down to the store to buy more stuff. I'm happy that we immediately get the, the items. I know there's a 25 item limit, but I'm glad we can just get some stuff because I always just buy whatever is in store, but especially for the counter she kind of wanted to be the same so here as you can see i'm kind of trying to make a corner i first wanted to do the whole back but i decided to do one side also these windows i think they're from lilo stitch or moana these are such a lifesaver they make the room look so much better because of the natural light coming in and it makes it look more realistic in my opinion I had a really hard time with the right side of the room. The left side, as you can see, I had figured out pretty easily, but I just didn't know what to put in that empty space. And I also had a hard time decorating the table because I only had one of those chairs and I kind of didn't want to buy any more of them because I didn't know if I needed the slots for later. So I just made it into a desk instead of a dining table. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to put more couches there. I wasn't sure if it looked nice. I put leaves down, like what am I doing, girl? <laughs> I was really struggling at this point. Normally I like to decorate my rooms from an isometric like side view. So I don't just like make anything on the side walls and i just think it looks better from like one pov so that's how i mostly decorate as well but with that also comes that i can't put anything big on like one corner especially if that's in the quote-unquote front so i just didn't know what to do with that so as you can see i'm just leaving it for now also i'm struggling if i wanted to change the couch so i ended up making it a green couch because i felt like it fit better with the theme and i wish i had more rugs i think this rug looks quite nice actually this is the final result and i feel like it is basically finished i am still a bit 50 50 about the side space that is kind of empty so i was trying to add something but it just didn't work uh again i wish that we had more rugs because i ended up wanting to use this rug like basically in every room i log in quite often to buy everything in the store and i only have i think four or five rugs available so i don't know what's up with that Next up, we are tackling the bathroom. It was a mermaid theme. It was kind of a mess. So I'm starting off by changing out the wallpaper and adding some windows. I know it's quite a lot of window for a bathroom, but no one lives behind my house, so it doesn't really matter. I definitely wanted to go for the mermaid theme since I really like this bathtub. So that was kind of a must that I had to go into it. But because the room is so small and kind of like awkward where to put all the items, I was quite struggling with making it fit as well in the theme because there's a lot of purple there's blue there's green there's gray there's dark blue there's a lot of colors going on and i also wanted to add more plants in green i noticed my biggest struggle is some of the like small coral you couldn't put on top of any items but it looks so awkward when you put them on the floor i don't know if anyone else has this i ended up changing the wallpaper to purple and that definitely made the whole room feel way more complete eventually this turned out more of eric's cabin on the boat instead of eric underwater grotto but with the carpet and the wall i feel like this thing comes together pretty well so now it's time to move on to our third room this room i wanted to be inspired by the wallpaper that i took out in my first room with the tangled and i really wanted to make a little tangled room theme where rapunzel would really be in actually i feel like this would be like exactly what she wanted to be like this is definitely different than the other two rooms that i did since that was more on my room base but this was more in the idea of what would she like so i definitely had a bunch of her items and i was buying a little bit more plants before i had it back inside and added more of the items so as you can see i only used one side 
light of her pattern because I didn't want it to be too full, but I did use the window to make it like really open. And it made me really think of Barbie and Rapunzel movie, especially with the flooring. I don't know if that is even accurate, but it's what it made me think of. I added the bed in the backside and the front was more of a lounge area. And I added the super cute yellow counter to make more of a divider without closing up the room a little bit too much. I was missing one, so I ended up adding plants and also a bunch of Encanto items, which I ended up taking out because I felt like it didn't fit the theme and it was a little bit too cluttered and maybe not too Rapunzel-esque. One of my favorite items here is definitely the hanging chair and the little sitting area. It's so cute. This is definitely the favorite room that I've made overall. I think this is definitely something I would want to live in. I resonate with Rapunzel a lot, so maybe that makes sense. But I really like the way this looks. It's very cluttered. I put books everywhere because I feel like she would like sketching them as well. And this is definitely one of my favorites, especially with the natural light. It just looks so good. I'm so inspired by this one. So let's move on to our next room. Lastly, I was gonna go for a Lion King theme. I had mermaid stuff here, but I took it all out. I was gonna go for a Disney park, like renting room. So I wanted to add a lot of scenery as well. I know these pools normally put outside. So I'm hoping to incorporate it somewhat with the outfit. I really like the bed and the back piece with the little lion. So I wanted to use those items. I was struggling with this room the most, I would say, because I didn't know what to do with all of the prints and all of the different colors and it ended up being like more of a resort like renting room i've never been to disney or even like rented a room so i wouldn't even know what it looks like but i wanted to have a bed a lounge area and kind of like a dining spot eventually so i really like the couch that i didn't use in the other room so i ended up using it here i also really like the lamp with the animal with the lampshade on his head but the table only has six slots and you can't like put it exactly in the middle without like flipping it so it looks kind of off I really like this table and these, I think they're Encanto chairs. I think these fit really nicely as well. I ended up moving the bed behind the waterfall, which I think looks amazing compared to what I had before. The waterfall doesn't look as out of place as it did. And I made another divider using one of the kitchen counters. I ended up using the red one. I was hoping I had a brown one, so I went to check in the store, but we only had the one that I had. So I just used that one instead. There were also some items that I I liked like the <clears throat> Moana bowls, I think would fit really nicely as well. So I ended up using those, as you can see. The table looks quite nice. I think that's one of my favorite besides the bed. I also moved the shade because I felt like it looked better, added some little trinkets and stuff. And I felt like the front was kind of off with the little pond that I have, but uh, yeah, it's another corner that I should probably work on someday. I ended up mixing around with the wallpapers, but only going for one same color for this room only. And this is the final result. I feel like this is quite cute after all. I do think this is a little bit messy, but I'm hoping in the future when I get a little bit more items, I can refine it and be maybe changing out some stuff. But overall, this is quite cute. And this was already our last room for today. I'm hoping to design more rooms in the future, but I definitely want to get more items first because even though I have a lot, I feel like this still isn't enough. So let me know if you enjoyed and if you even got a little bit inspired. I know this isn't the best work you've seen online, but I had a lot of fun doing it either way. And with that being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye.